Hi, so it's uh, just a short video here to update on my second edition Blood Angels. For those that don't know, I'm working on a small second edition Blood Angels army. I still need to get hold of the old codex, uh, which I believe had the Dark Angels in it as well. And so these models are from the early 90s, some of the first miniatures I had as a kid actually. And uh, it's about time that I got around to actually painting on these units. So here's our first squad of... Uh, Space Marines here. As you can see, Goblin Green bases. Um, I've also got Captain Tycho here. So this will be the leader of my force. Um, so that's that guy there. Uh, the gold on this was quite unusual. I wasn't happy, so I've layered it up from a brown um, and then just kept going with different gold. It doesn't really show up so much on camera here, but uh, I'm fairly happy with how it's came out. Um, I'm, I'm looking for his uh, uh, standard as well. Um, I've only managed to find one and it's £10 on eBay, so I'm a bit reluctant to uh, make that purchase. So I think I'll end up printing out a banner of my own um, when I get round to it. So yeah, that's uh, Captain Tycho. I've uh, done a little bit of freehand on his thing there with his name just in case he loses his suit of armour or something he, they know it belongs to. So that's all Tycho there. Uh, then, yeah, we, all these um, sort of guys are the same pose, very sort of static, but I quite like that. It's uh, reminiscent of a lot of the old miniatures and how they were um, sort of produced, really, um, particularly with uh, games that you rank them up, like old uh, Warhammer Fantasy and that. So... This sort of like a static pose very much reminds me of being a kid, you know, on miniatures. So I quite like it. It's got some charm. Uh, the decals, there's a little bit of shine off on them. I've used some anti-shine. It's not so bad in person, but on the camera, it really shows up here. Also, you can't really see the highlighting as well on the camera. So, but uh, yeah, so we've got a... Eight of these guys, just standard dudes. I've gone for the uh, green lenses on the eyes there. And the yellow really stands out on uh, against the red. So we've got a flamethrower guy as well. So a special, uh, special weapons guy. Okay. okay, these aren't all that exciting to look at really. They're... They're pretty much of the of the era. Here's the uh, sergeant again. I haven't got a uh, banner for this guy, um, so again, I'll probably end up printing one out for him. He's got quite a gnarly face. Um, yeah, uh, quite an interesting looking character. I've gone for the hazard stripes as well on the chainsaw, give it that old school feel, and the flames on the on the greaves there. So I've not drilled out the barrels because uh, I think back then not many people did. So I just sort of painted, um, painted them. Uh, so yeah, that's that dude. Then the only other different miniature here really is the um, uh, missile launcher guy. So the missile launcher is pretty bland actually. I might put a bit more color onto that, but um, yeah, he's. Uh, Pretty basic. So, yeah, that's uh, that's basically it, really. Squad of ten uh, tactical marines uh, from the uh, original starter set, the second edition starter set, which I believe was the first sort of large starter set for Warhammer Forty K. Actually, I also have, uh, which is one of my favourite models, which I didn't have um, back uh, back in those days in my youth, but. This was always one of my favourite Space Marine characters, although he's a bit flat, <laughs> um, really think, thinking about it. But um, I don't know, that power stance has uh, has a lot of character. It really, as a kid, it's really sort of heroic and it calls to those sort of, you know, feelings and nostalgia um, of the day. So, yeah, I'll be looking forward to getting this guy painted up. Um also, I've actually got a um, 
an old orc as well that I'm going to repaint. So this guy, although it's not too badly painted, it's using old um, old inks even and non-metallic metal and stuff. Because if I remember, I didn't have any uh, metallic paints at the time. But yeah, so I'd, it's actually not a bad paint job. But I think I'll redo the skin. There's a few chips on him, you know, so... Uh, and the checks aren't all that great. I might have to redo those, clean them up a bit. But yeah, um, that's him. So there we go. That's a little update there on my Blood Angels. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted on, uh, on the progress as we go.